In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, remembering today St. Pius V, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God of mercy, must forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your providence raised up Pope St. Pius V in your church, that the faith might be safeguarded, and more fitting worship be offered to you, for on through his intercession, that we may participate in your mysteries with lively faith and fruitful charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, and lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Be ready to set out at noon along the road that goes from Jerusalem down to Gaza, the desert road. So he set off on his journey. Now it happened that an Ethiopian had been on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He was a eunuch and an officer of the court of the Kandaki, or queen of Ethiopia, and was in fact the chief treasurer. He was now on his way home. And as he sat in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit said to Philip, Go up and meet that chariot. And Philip ran up, he heard him reading Isaiah the prophet, and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? How can I, he replied, unless I have someone to guide me. So he invited Philip to get in and sit by his side. Now the passage of scripture he was reading was this, like a sheep that is led to the slaughterhouse, like a lamb that is dumb in front of its shearers, like these he never opens his mouth. He has been humiliated and has no one to defend him. Who will ever talk about his descendants since his life on earth has been cut short? The eunuch turned to Philip and said, tell me, is the prophet referring to himself or someone else? Starting therefore with this text of scripture, Philip proceeded to explain the good news of Jesus to him. Further along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is some water here. Is there anything to stop me being baptized? He ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water, and Philip baptized him. But after they had come up out of the water again, Philip was taken away by the Spirit of the Lord, and the eunuch never saw him again went on his way rejoicing. But it found that he had reached Azotus and continued his journey proclaiming the good news in every town as far as Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out the joy to God all the earth. O peoples bless our God that the voice of his praise resound of the God who gave life to our souls, who kept our feet from stumbling. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud, with high praise ready on my tongue. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Blessed be God who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold his love from me. Cry out with joy to God. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. 
says the Lord. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, They will all be taught by God, and to hear the teaching of the Father and learn from it, is to come to me. Not that anybody has seen the Father, except the one who comes from God. He has seen the Father. I tell you more solemnly, everybody who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the man in the desert, and they are dead. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that a man may eat it not die. I am the living bread which has come down from him. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we continue to hear about Adventures of St. Philip the Deacon, who is now sent to a desert region where usually there is no one. However, when he gets there, he finds that God does have someone to whom he is to bear witness, an Ethiopian eunuch, whose eagerness for the truth and reading from the prophet Isaiah is rewarded as God sent his servant Philip to him. The church father, St. Irenaeus of Lyons, notes that the Ethiopian eunuch who was known as Simeon Bacchus, was also sent later on into the regions of Ethiopia to preach what he had himself believed. The conversion of the Ethiopian is significant because it illustrates the spread of the gospel south of the Sahara at the beginning of the church in Africa. This eunuch is a sign that we should be inclusive of all people as church, no matter where they come from matter their race, background, orientation, or class. Philip will show that all are welcome in God's kingdom. Today on the church's calendar, we celebrate the feast of St. Pius V, who was born Anthony Gisleri in Italy in 1504. He wanted to become a priest, but his parents were poor. One day, two Dominicans came to his home and met Anthony and offered to educate him. Anthony joined the Dominican order took the name Michel, and eventually became a priest. When he was 61, he was chosen Pope, and he took the name Pope Pius V. He had many challenges to face, especially in the time of the Reformation and the Counter-Reformation. He drew strength, however, from the crucifix, and meditated every day on the sufferings and death of Jesus. Around that time, the Turks were trying to conquer Europe, and a Christian force went to battle them, at a place called Lepanto near Greece. In that moment, the army set out. The Pope prayed the rosary and encouraged the people around the world to do the same. In the end, the Christians won a great victory. In gratitude to Mary, St. Pius V established the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. He once said, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. See to it that people are edified by your example by the purity of your lives, the moderation of your conduct, and the brilliance of your holiness. The Gospel today says, everyone who listens to the Father and learns from him comes to me. Simeon Bacchus, the eunuch, had been listening deeply to God's word and longs deeply to know more. And God sends Philip to him. Philip listens to God who calls him to set out to the south where he will meet the Ethiopian eunuch and instruct him, teach him, and baptize him. Because Philip listened to God and responded, he will directly contribute to the birth of the church in Africa, a 
as well as other parts of the Middle East. Know that as soon as he is done preaching, God has other things for him to do. And Philip responds immediately to the very next thing that God has for him. May we, sisters and brothers, always learn to listen, truly listen to what God is saying to us in prayer, the Eucharist, through other people. Let us learn to respond wholeheartedly to God, being available to whatever it is that God has in store for us, never wondering how his will is to be done, but trusting that once we say yes, God will take care of the rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And we stand as we bring before our Heavenly Father all the needs that we have. We pray for the church throughout the world, for Holy Father Pope Francis, Archbishop Jason, for our bishops, priests, and deacons. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We continue to lift up all of the essential workers throughout the world, all the first responders, uh, various uh, people involved in health throughout the world, the doctors, nurses, technicians. Uh, pray, O oh Lord, for your protection upon them as they battle this uh, virus. Pray especially for an end to this pandemic. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Continue to pray for the repose of the soul of Grace Walker, Clara Nanton, Stanley Ronald Sinclair, Ansel Pereira, Francis Lazama, and all those who have passed away as a result of COVID-19. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God's healing hand upon Monica Gonzalez, Monica St. Rose, Mark Tanchu, George Tanchu, and Nerlene Alexander. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, may hear us. Continue to pray for vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life, especially to our Carmelite way of life. We lift up our students, Marlon, Jonathan, and Greg, David, David from our cluster. Especially we pray for Mikhail, Paul, and Jeff as they prepare to be ordained priests next month. We pray that they all may be holy priests. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of all. Feast of St. Pius, we continue to pray for all Dominicans uh, throughout the world as they celebrate the Feast of the Great uh, Dominican uh, Pope. And we also pray for the Church in Africa, especially for those uh, poor countries that are having to deal with the uh, spread of this virus. Pray, Lord, that you may equip them. Pray for healing for all those who have it. Lord, hear us. We unite this prayer to those of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, we ask that you hear these prayers that you make, for we make them with trust and confidence in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Root of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual thing. 
Blessed be God. Praises and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his church. Accept the sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of blessed pious a means to our eternal salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ, our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Pius, you did your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we pray. Holy, holy. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all words. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion and took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you eat. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of the sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, and Lord of Clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Especially Grace Walker, Clara Anton, Stanley, Ronald St. Clair, Ansel Prayer, Francis Lazama, and all of our departed relatives and ancestors. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, O spouse, for the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saints of the Philip the Deacon, Saint Simeon Barkas, Saint Pius V, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And we pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Sisters and brothers, let us offer each other a sign. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Pray together the act of spiritual communion. This can be found on the EWTN website under act of spiritual communion. And we pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sovereign. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed Pius burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for the church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reminder that tomorrow is first Friday, the first Friday in May. We will be kicking off a series of Marian talks take place every single Sunday at 3 p.m. You can join that on um, Zoom and it also be posted on Facebook. Also tomorrow we will have a holy hour um, of uh, spending time with the Blessed Sacrament. So we'll give you more information on that uh, tomorrow. And also we will have a special make crowning tomorrow afternoon. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Why do you join with me in asking the intercession of St. Michael, a special way for an end to this pandemic. As you pray, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in a state of battle. They are safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God is straining, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked spirits, who wandered through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. 